there's a couple of choices you can make in life, and some paths are gonna take you down a certain road. Anyone who stands in my way, watch out. At Southern New Hampshire University, we believe in education built for all people. Coming to the U.S. with no plan whatsoever, I'm just happy that I did it. I finished my degree to be a great role model and an inspiration for my kids. I just wanted more. I wanted more for my life. I wanted more for my family. I graduated high school 19 years ago. I still finished. Just been a complete difference for us. I'm setting an example for my kids. You don't give up, you fight to the finish. Every person has this idea in their head about who they want to be, where they want to go. I want to be not just a game changer, but a world changer. My name is Matt Seawright, and got my bachelor's degree in organizational leadership at SNHU. I lived in the same house since about 96. Me and my four siblings, my mom and my dad, that raised me. My biological father, he wasn't around as much growing up. My family, they were huge advocates on education. I was given every opportunity to be who I wanted to be in my community. And one thing that I gravitated to was step and drill. That just the rhythm of the beat, um, it makes you feel different. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and... Yes, but I need y'all to pick up your feet. I was 27 years old, and I just left my job that I thought I was gonna be in for the rest of my life in banking, and I switched over to retail, high-end retail, and I realized at that point I was a bad manager. Being laid off, not being able to provide for myself financially and things like that, like a lot of different things that just started spinning out of control for me. The focus I was looking for for myself was to become a better leader. I was sitting there one night, and then the SNHU commercial came on. And I said, why not? Let's give it a shot. Here we are. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. I started school in January of 2017. It changed everything for me. We all have our burdens in life that we have to carry. And at one point, all I had to hold on to was SNHU, because without them, I wouldn't have finished. Matthew Seawright. Being able to see my family there on the sidelines watch me take this next big step was epic. My father who raised me, he's not the emotional one, and he, he'll deny it, but I know he cried. Because <laughs> he's very big on not wearing sunglasses inside, and he had them on for the entire ceremony. It's like, and it was already dark in there. Why were you hiding? I couldn't be more happy for him, you know. It, it takes a lot to, to stay on the path. You know what, he found a school where he belongs. I'm so happy for him, you know? Long time coming, but he did it. Having my biological father there, it was a very, very big deal for me. It was just like, yes, I can make you proud. I knew it was become real when he said, Dad, I'm graduating in Maine, I need you there. And I, <laughs> I was like, all right, I gotta be there. He just really, um, he did something that I always wanted to do, you feel me? And then when I seen him do it, I was like, wow. It just touched me in the place right here, man. It's a good thing. Proud of you. Without SNHU, I wouldn't be the manager or leader I am today in my current career. I've gone from managing four people to now 50 people. It changed. It, it, it changed for me in a very good way. Every person has this idea in their head about who they want to be, where they want to go. I want to be not just a game changer, but a world changer. Being able to put my degree from SNHU on my resume absolutely opened up doors for me. I'm John Galvin, and I earned my bachelor's degree at SNHU. No one in my family had had a degree, so being one of the first ones to have a degree it definitely was a proud moment, you know, just for myself, my wife, my mother. 
and to show the kids as well. I'm Christy Galvin. I am currently studying at Southern New Hampshire University. Just like John, I would be the only one in my family that has received a degree, so that's important to me. But I think the biggest thing is I want to be a good role model to my kids. A lot of people, when they leave the military or retire, they go to work as a civilian. Even with all the experience at the military, you still need a degree. Before I had my degree from SNHU, I didn't have many job opportunities. The reason why I went back to college was as you're progressing through the ranks, you know, they require you to have some educational background. It just seemed like a natural thing for me to choose SNHU to continue my education so that I could, you know, have a step above everyone else. We move a lot with the military, most military people do, every couple of years. So the online courses, to me, it was, was the only thing that made sense. SNHU is the one constant in our lives that no matter where we move, we know that they'll always be there. I knew that SNHU was the place for me because it felt like home. The flexibility was key for me. Things come up that would cause me maybe to have to be away from being able to do some schoolwork. There was moments where, you know, wanting to be pulled away, having to, you know, miss maybe a game because I have to do something for school. But once I retire from the military, you know, having that bachelor's degree is going to help me in my next step, you know, in life. With military families, some people choose the military instead of going to college. What we want to teach our kids is that you can do both. It's something we learn in the military is setting goals and achieving them. So for us to work as a team, I helped him achieve his goals with, with helping on the home front while he pursued his education. He's now doing that for me. My wife, once she receives her degree from SNHU, if and when she decides to go back to work full time, her opportunities will be endless as far as doing whatever she wants to do. Goals are important to us, and we want our children to understand that once you set out to do something, you finish it. My name is Fatma Salem Pees, and I received my master's in clinical mental health counseling at SNHU. I would like to now ask if you are able to please rise for the singing of our national anthem sung this morning by graduating student Fatma Salem Pease. I immigrated to the U.S. in 2011. I came here by myself to live with this American family. And I realized that I really liked the country and I really wanted to live here and that I wanted to make a good career for myself and a good life for myself. Coming from a society that is male-dominated back in Tunisia, typically a girl wouldn't leave the house, the, the family house, until she's married. Coming to the U.S. on a whim, completely, with no plan whatsoever, uh, a lot of people were telling me not to go, uh, and I'm just happy that I did it. My mother was a nurse who had a lot of empathy for people that couldn't afford to go to the hospital, so our, the door of our house was basically always open for anyone to come in and get consultation about their medical needs. That definitely inspired me to be in the helping profession. I started the program in clinical mental health counseling in April of 2017. When I look back at my experience with my program, the immense growth that, I, um, that I've come to achieve throughout the only two years that I've been in the program taught me a lot about you know, self-compassion, being uh, kind with myself, and understanding, you know, keeping in mind that we are all human. SNHU gave me the confidence to seek out what I know deep down I can achieve. Fatma Salem Peas! Commencement was a, a phenomenal experience. Yeah, there were a lot of emotional moments, especially um, with my mom, my brother, being able to be there. If you think about it, maybe 10 years ago, 
before she had the, all the idea of coming here and start a whole new life. You think all the odds are against, against her, but she's always been very determined and uh, she had everything it takes to be a successful person. I have a lot of young girls who reach out to me through social media, telling me how much I inspired them to you know, pursue their dreams. I'm really happy to be an inspiration to my nieces and to other girls who grew up with me in the neighborhood who were able to you know, have an example that you can go against the grain of society and it's possible. If I had to pick one word to describe myself, it would be driven. Be a marker. That's not something I probably would have ever said about myself prior to going back to school. Four years later, here I am, I got my degree. I'm the first of my family to graduate. My experience at SNHU's commencement was emotional, it was exciting. I was very happy to feel that moment that I did it. John Richard Roos, summa cum laude. My family, especially my mother, got to see that. My father bought a new suit and everybody just had a lot of fun. And I'm so happy I was a part of it. If there was a moment where I knew I made the right decision to go to SNHU and go back to school. It would actually be from the very beginning because they offered history as a program online. It's been a passion of mine since I was 10 years old and I visited Gettysburg, Pennsylvania with my family and saw a ranger giving a tour and that's what I wanted to do. My breakthrough moment was when SNHU Career Services told me to go for an internship. And within about two weeks, I was volunteering, getting ready to give tours. For all that to lead from SNHU Career Services, it's how I started with my Park Service career. And I'm very happy in what I do now. I've been able to use my degree in history on a daily basis in my new job. Giving tours, talking to people about the history of the park and what's gone on around it. Now that I have my degree, I'm working in my dream job. SNHU created a great base for me to continue on my journey, continue driving towards my goals. If there's one thing I could tell myself at the start of my educational journey, it would definitely be to never give up. It's going to be all worth it. You're going to achieve your dreams. You're going to be moving forward in your life. Don't ever give up. I'm Shelly Villa, and I currently live in San Diego. I'm Salvador Villa. I'm from San Diego, California. We have four girls who range in age from 14 to 11 months, so I'm always busy. We've been married for over 14 years. Love at first sight, it really was. Shelly is my best friend. She helps me through what I find hard and she might find easy. I've been in the military for 13 and a half years, it'll actually be 14 years this summer. In the military, there are the times when he's had to deploy or, you know, currently he travels. It is very difficult. Some of us leave for months at a time. You never really know what life is going to bring you. There's that thought in the back of your mind of, what if something happens? I need to be able to support my children. It's good to be great at your job, but then what sets you apart from the rest that are also good at their job? So having a degree is one of those extras. I wanted that sense of accomplishment, showing the girls that I could finish and that I, it doesn't matter how old you are. I graduated high school almost 19 years ago. I still finished, I still kept going. I knew that I wanted to finish my degree and it just, the happiness is like, I did it, I finished it. It's one of the, the many things that we get to, to do together. What made it even better was finishing at the same time. Shelly Villa! Salvador Villa! I 
got it to be a great role model and an inspiration for my kids. Maybe they'll follow in my footsteps and, and go to Southern New Hampshire University. I know that they felt so much pride that I'm able to do something with a degree. I'm happy that they got to graduate together. At first, I didn't say anything. I just hugged them really hard. What I love about my mom is that she's caring and I feel really bonded with her. Having Shelly, it's very humbling. And just like I support her, she has supported me. Sal, he's always been the person who has supported me the most, knowing that I have somebody that I can lean on for anything that's going on. It's kind of just been a complete difference for us. I'm getting a little teary, sorry. Um, whatever feelings that I had, feeling like there was just too much going on, I had this light bulb moment and I was like, you know, just finish. The feeling just kind of overcomes you. You feel that sense of accomplishment. And I feel like that's what SNHU is. Do you have anything else you want to say to mom and daddy? I love you so very much. I'm very proud. Same. <laughs> I'm so proud of you both, and I love you. If I could describe myself in one word, it would be hardworking. Children, they get all of their habits from you. For me, that was important. I knew the influence that I had over my daughter before she was even conscious enough to start copying me. In addition to being a veteran, as well as a mom, I am also a spouse of an active duty service member. The military is not an easy job, and the military can get time consuming to where it's hard to fit in time for school. Tierra, she's a go-getter. She sees something, she says, you know, I want to do it. She doesn't let anyone stop her. I just want it more. I want it more for my life. I want it more for my family. You're not going to be an active duty service member forever. That's impossible. So my breakthrough moment was when I was accepted into SNHU. I chose SNHU because of their dedicated military support team. They walked me through everything I needed to know. You know, they were very supportive. It made me feel like, okay, I, I made the right decision. I started my master's program with SNHU. I was learning so much. It really influenced me to start a catering business. I've always gotten compliments on how well I cook, and I can honestly say that having my master's in accounting helps me with budgeting, taxes, payroll, almost everything administratively that I need to do for my catering business. And it guided me to reach the accomplishment and graduate. At commencement, it was so many emotions, you know, my family's here, I reached this accomplishment, and I got selected to be a commencement speaker. Let us begin. For each of our ceremonies every year, a student speaker is chosen through a process led by a university committee. She's amazing, I've had a chance to meet her. She's here all the way from San Diego. Please join me in welcoming your student speaker, Sierra, to the podium. I stepped up to make my speech. It was like, it's here, it's happening, it's now. Wow. My time at this institution has opened my eyes to how relatable we all are as students of life. We, scholars from all walks of life, have one major characteristic in common. We are the ones who succeed. We are the ones who break through. And our family and friends are proud of this great accomplishment. Keep your visions in front of you always. Thank you and God bless. I've seen how SNHU has helped Sierra become a better leader and everybody was so proud. It was an amazing feeling, you know? I'm like, that's my wife up there, you know? <laughs>
having that support from my family and being able to actually show up. At graduation, it was very emotional for me. I was sorry. I need some tissue. <laughs> All I could do was just to be grateful that I actually applied to SNHU. If I were to describe myself in one word, it would be brave. You never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have. Those are the words that I live by because it's so true. When you're faced with a challenge, you really don't have a choice. You can fight or you could give up. And I fight every time. I'm married, I have three children. I juggle everything I possibly can with the great support of my husband. I've never met a person who's more mentally tough than my wife, Christina. Her motherly instincts, how she cares for the kids, how she cares for me. Christina just always drove through everything, always putting everybody else first, especially the kids, throughout all her ordeals. When I was 28 years old, I just bought my wedding dress. I was getting married. I felt a tiny lump in my breast. I went to the doctors and um, had the lump removed and they informed me that I had breast cancer. They told me at the time that I would never have kids. So we adopted my son as a newborn baby. She was cancer free for almost six years. And um, we were fortunate enough that uh, we were able to have two of our own children. And then she had uh, another routine and an exam, and uh, I was working, and uh, she called me. <laughs> Can't I come back? It wasn't fair. I didn't know where life was gonna go. I didn't know if I was gonna see my daughter take her first steps. I think that my life was spared. I have a purpose to be here and I need to have a, a complete life and I need to help others. And that's why, that's why I'm here, by becoming a nurse. So I knew that I had to get my BSN. I looked into Southern New Hampshire University. I saw that I would be able to achieve my BSN with that program, and I went and I did it. One of the things I love about Southern New Hampshire University is how flexible the schedule was. And the financial aspect of it, I ran to my husband with my computer and I said, look, look, we can do this. Without the uh, Southern New Hampshire University online program, there's no way that Christina would have attained her BSN. But we were very, very fortunate that not only one, that she found it, uh, two, that she was accepted. Now that I have my degree, it allows me to separate myself from the pack. If I didn't have my BSN, I would not be able to advance my career in nursing. I proved to myself that I can do this as a mom, as a wife. I can't waste life on negative moments. There's no time in life for that. It's kind of exhilarating, you know what I mean? It was almost like you went back to when you graduated high school and to see Christina as happy as she was and just how proud she was of herself. A fighter, you know? She's someone that you want to be. I took that terrible, terrible thing that happened to me and I turned it around and I made it a positive and now I'm impacting the lives in a positive way for other people. It means the world. I'm setting an example for my kids. You don't give up. You fight to the finish and you get your degree from Southern New Hampshire University. When I face barriers, I break through. My name is Elaine Garcia. I'm getting my bachelor's degree in management information systems at SNHU. I grew up on the south side of Chicago. 
born and raised, and that was where I was first introduced to computers. The way that the field has grown exponentially has been so fascinating to me, and, and being born in this time and being a part of it has been something that I, I've always taken an interest in. Sometimes people you meet in your life are gonna take you and change the path that you go on. Megan, she's great. We've been together for 10 years and married for seven. When we got married, gay marriage was not legal in America. So there were two states um, that were allowing marriage and one of them you had to be a resident. The other was New York. We got married at the Supreme Court and uh, we just never looked back. And we've been uh, married ever since and she's just been an amazing woman. It was a magical moment. <laughs> Everybody has a different idea of what their family is and family is something that you build. I think some of the best things that I love about her is that she's so resourceful and confident. I just love that energy. It's something that I definitely am motivated by. Megan, she's my center and my grounding point. And she's been with me from the south side of Chicago all the way to Denver, Colorado. I hit a wall in my career. In order to get past that wall, I needed my employers and other team members to believe in my abilities and my skills. At some point, uh, you realize that it's important uh, to continue that education. SNHU allows me to do that. And boom, I was registered and I was on my way to becoming an SNHU student. Utilizing my degree in a management capacity, that was something that was really a major turning point for me. Whether it's my own teammate or on the executive level, I'm able to work with all types of team members. It's been really uh, impactful on my career. The moment she interviewed, she's one of those people, you just want them on your team. What we do is pretty in depth, and it's not something you just walk in off the street and have a grasp of. You try to look for people who you know will be able to grasp those concepts, and Elaine has been able to do that amazingly while she's still going to school. You know, I can't wait to have my family watching me walk across the stage. I'll be the first in my family to graduate from college, and it's been a tremendous ride all along. The closer she gets to her degree, I just see the increase in happiness and the excitement that she has about her future. The pride that I feel thinking about her walking across the stage is enormous. It's exciting to watch her as she goes through earning her degree. One day maybe I'll work, be working for her. I would consider that a, a high point in my life. There's a couple of choices you can make in life. Some paths are gonna take you down a certain road. You set your limitations. You're the person who's going to make your path successful. Anyone who stands in my way, watch out. Southern New Hampshire University at its core exists to transform the lives of students. We often say that we are the university for students for whom college is not a guarantee first generation, military, veterans, working adults. We want to improve access. We want to make college more affordable. We try to create programs and pathways for everybody.